Hey guys, welcome back to another video, I guess, and today we're going to be doing some cool crossing tours here in Hawthorne. So this actually was requested from someone where in the Clips Avenue, or how do you pronounce it, where, where there used to be a wigwag here, but unfortunately that wigwag gave up its job and decided to get replaced with new modern Union Pacific type signals. So we're going to be doing crossing tours on both sides, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure. So here, let's, okay, so we got one cool thing. We got a Siemens, si Siemens si signal base. Damn, the signal's big. It's actually pretty tall. Look at this. I, I can't really, really reach out. Oh, we'll have it zoom in. So we have a Siemens gate mechanism, which is pretty cool. Looks like a safe tram, but it's actually a Siemens. Oh gosh, that's an NEGE bell. I wish it had a mechanical bell. I'm just kidding. I would shake it, but geez, these signals are big. Okay, so we have tracks going all the way there to El Segundo, connecting with the BNSF Harbor subdivision, the abandoned part, not the, the modern part. The modern part starts around there. We have, again, the NEG bell. I really wanna hear what it sounds like. They probably sound classic. Uh, safe trend lights. Those are second gen safe trend lights. Probably the modern ones, I would say. I think those are either safe trend or WCH LEDs in them. Not clearly sure. We have some gate lights where pretty cool. We have a cross book and that's pretty much it for that side. We have the same thing exactly on the side. The, the tag, of course, we have the Union Pacific tag. I'm not sure why these things are so big. I can't even see the tag from here. The only way to see the tag is by giving it off. No, man, that thing is way too big. No, I can't see the tag. I didn't, never knew signals were this big before. Are these easy to shake? Oh yeah, just imagine it had a mechanical bell. I would be freaked out. It's very rare. I mean, it's uncommon because it's, these are modern type. The gate, the signal shakes, you see? I'm not gonna shake it though, it doesn't have a mechanical bell. The next one in Lawndale does have a mechanical Oh, there's a car coming. I like the fact that there's a Sinem's gate. I mean, signal base, Safe Trans Systems Corporation here. We have something here, which I guess is from Safe Trans. See right there, Safe Trans. So we're gonna cross the road. Let's check both ways. There's any cars coming? There's a car coming. Okay, here we go. Oh gosh, there's water. Okay, I'm gonna have to stay away from that if I don't wanna get wet. So, Siemens signal base. Very, very cool on the signal. Someone's here. Oh, it's a working industrial building here. Over there's Ramona Avenue, I think. Yeah, I've been there. There's two mechanical bells, you can see them. Oh, I'm gonna turn off the sprinklers. Oh. oh, he's going in. He just put his hand on the sprinkler. Oh, he's gonna turn them off, okay. Sinem's base. Wow, a Sinem's gate mechanism, very cool. We have a Union Pacific lock. Very vintage, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if they're very vintage or they're just modern type. <laughs> Sinem's game mechanism, but the one without the, the sticker instead of the... I'm not sure if it's a sticker. The, okay, let's... Oh, I forgot the junction box. I, I'm pretty sure the junction box is, a, you think, a safe train or... Yeah, I, imagine it was a double so That'd be very vintage. So some turn off the faucets. That way I don't get wet. So anyways, Sinem's base again. Sinem's gate mechanism. Any GE bell. That sounds really good, probably. Or not. Is that rust? I'm not sure why that's. That, this is, I think it's a little rusty. Not on the edge, but on the speaker thing. It's probably rusty. We have a whoa, a lot of armed gate benders here. Some Safe Trend lights with, I think, Safe Trend LEDs or WCH. Probably Safe Trend because you know, they're supposed to be custom. Safe Trend junction box. Uh, we have a cap up there, a cap. Let's put up the, that's a cap actually. If there's no cap, it's definitely there's a bell up there, but yeah. So here's the side where the wigwag was, but then unfortunately, the relay was actually there before. There used to be a wigwag here that would swing all the time when the train would come. I think there's videos of it in action. And there was a wire connecting all the way to there. There was a relay back then. There was like a little box of relay, but then the signal was either taken down, stolen, or just sold on eBay, I'm not sure. I think it was changed but in google maps i saw the wigwag still up but then on the other side the new signal was there just the lights were folded facing each other and the gates were missing and they were just up they were like new signals then after that they just installed these new ones 
It's very really sad to see them go, and I'm surprised I can shake this thing. No way. So I can shake it, but it's not gonna ring. <laughs> Just imagine it turned on, that'd be so cool. Unfortunately, there's no trains coming, but the next location will be on the Harbor Sub, which is a more active line. Probably be a local coming by. And I'm, and I'm really interested to see, oh my gosh, five minute video. Okay, guys, I think this might be the end of the video. So if you guys enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. I really miss this wigwag. Comment down if you miss it too. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.